Hello you guys, what is up? It is currently Monday. Welcome back to another fresh start of the week vlog. You know what? Today I thought we we're gonna get my health back in check, okay? We're going to get my workouts back in check, my health back in check. I have a gym appointment today in the evening. We're just gonna get back on track. I haven't been to the gym in probably a year now. I haven't been since COVID started because that's when I got my membership canceled and I just didn't feel comfortable going to the gym at that time, but now I'm like more chill about it. I don't really give a shit as long as I like get everything sanitized, chill. So I'm just like literally so excited to get back at it and start working out again i'm probably only going to be going like three times a week just because i don't want to do overkill honestly i think three times a week i've kind of realized it's like my perfect medium where it doesn't tire me out too much and it's just a perfect balance for me also i really want to start taking like good vitamins for my health every day i want to sort those out i want to get more vegetables in me more vitamins just a healthier body especially for the summer you know gotta go in with the summer glow up it's currently actually pretty late it's already 1 30 I was just doing some work in the morning and I decided just to take a little break to start vlogging. My gym appointment is at 4.30, so it's in three hours. <laughs> you guys, me and Joel were at Chapters or Indigo, something like that, yesterday. And we bought a book and it's called Daily Oracle. So do you know how there's like tarot card readings and angel card readings and all of that? You kind of have to know how to read them and that they're like kind of complicated. Okay, so th this is what it says to do. Breathe deeply for three counts, holding the book closed next to your heart. Quiet your mind and focus on your question see the question in your mind's eye or say it aloud run a finger along all the page edges and when you feel called stop and open the book in that place this is your higher self's answer to your question trust what you've read and consider how it relates to your question and your energy right now so for example this morning i did myself a reading i held a book and i'm like you know what tell me what I need to hear right now. And it said, if you can dream it, you can do it. And it just kind of gives you some motivation and it gives you kind of what you need to hear. So it's kind of like picking a card out of like an angel deck or tarot deck or whatever, except it's really easy because you just got to open a page in a book and then you get a little reading. This is also really cool if like people come over and they want to do it or whatever. And I don't know, I just feel like this is so cool. And the book is actually, <laughs> it's pink and it's just so cute as well. I'm really excited about this because I've just been really intuitive and and connected recently so this was kind of calling my name and the next thing that I got is I got this green can you guys see it I got this green tree notebook and it is beautiful this was calling my name too for some reason and I feel like the tree at the front represents like growth and I want to use it as a journal I kind of want to do one line a day I saw this journal it was like really small and it said one line a day so it had like the date slots and you just write like one line a day literally just to look back on it but the book was kind of small and I didn't like the way it opened so I was like why don't I just get like a bigger book and do the same thing and just like write the date myself and kind of do a one line a day type of situation and I I feel like this is good for someone who doesn't really want to journal and want to spend too much time just writing one line a day it's so cool because you can kind of look back on it like your highlight for that day like where you were at in your life at that point just by one line and if i want to write more that day i can write more and yeah i don't know i feel like this is just going to be like kind of a time capsule i used to journal a lot when i was younger and i kind of just stopped so i'm actually excited to start doing it again this one is just really big and nice sturdy and cute so yeah that's what i got so i'm about to make lunch now but joel just told me the news apparently they are literally today they're making a rule where like restaurants are closing again gyms are closing we're going into lockdown again because apparently over the weekend there was like over 2,000 cases and it's like the high highest it's ever been so now it's like i'm just about to start going back to the gym and they're gonna close like oh my gosh what are the odds of that i'm actually kind of mad because i was really excited to get back at it and i just of course hear this news like seriously. I really hope that it's not true, that they don't close. I feel like I'll be fine to go today, but like today's not gonna do anything. Like if I just go one day and then they shut, like I might as well not even go at all. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see. I'm gonna make lunch now. I think I'm gonna have some quinoa with some kale or something. First healthy meal in a while, okay? I think I deserve a round of applause for that. I completely forgot that this song existed and then it came on on my playlist and I'm like, holy shit, dude, this is a 
bop. This is a literal bop. You guys, the weather has been so weird recently. Like, it was sunny, and then we just looked outside, and it's like hailing, but it's sunny, but it's hailing. And it was super cold this morning, and it hasn't been that cold in the mornings in so long. Like, there's literally kind of ice. The puddles were a little bit iced over. We we're like, what the hell? Like, what is happening? I thought it was supposed to be spring. The weather has just been so whack yesterday. Our power went out for a bit, and we were driving, and literally there was a hailstorm, and I literally thought it was going to break my windshield. It was that loud. Like, it was so bad. The weather has just been whack. And then like an hour later, it was sunny. Like, I, I just don't get it. It's supposed to be spring. I just want the hot weather. Okay, so I'm going to assign some vitamins to myself over here. We have like a huge drawer here. It's like a whole bunch of vitamin shit. Yeah, so I'm literally gonna take this granny thing, okay? And I'm going to fill this with vitamins. Okay, so I literally, I'm going to divide all of these vitamins. by vitamin D3, zinc, vitamin C, vitamin E, and omega-3. Not sure exactly what these specific pills, vitamins do. I don't know what they each do individually, but you know what? I feel like it'll make me healthier. So we're gonna do it. Oh, this just broke off. That's nice. Now we're gonna read the instructions, see how many time we're supposed to take each a day, and divide them. One tablet daily. I'm gonna take vitamin C in the morning, vitamin E, one to two daily. Okay, so I'll do a night and day. Also, random fact, but vitamin E gel pills, if you cut them open and put them on dry skin, they're really good at healing dry skin apparently so yeah literally just straight ass vitamin e cut it open use the gel and plop it on wherever you're super dry okay so for, for these omega-3s it says to take two oh shit says to take two daily so we're gonna put one in the morning one at night i literally feel like an old grandma doing this but you know what i'm not gonna remember to take each one if i don't do this so i don't give a shit okay let's go ahead in our d3 take one tablet daily Alrighty, righty whitey these vitamin d tablets are so tiny all right now zinc i'll do that in the pm as well zinc is apparently really really good for your immune system 10 out of 10 would recommend the zinky babies all right, so now we got the final results. I'm vibes. We love a good. Oh, shit. Dang. Okay, so we're gonna take our first dosage of pills, ladies and gentlemen. Starting off with the big omega 3. This big guy's kind of gonna be hard to swallow. It's not as bad as I thought. Vitamin C and vitamin A. I honestly feel like taking these pills will boost my immune system. You know, get that immune system working right, get that immune system working strong. We want to have a good immune system, especially right now. So get yourself a pill popper, grandma pill jar. Get your immune system. Work on yourself from within out. Okay. So I'm just going to put these back and then I need to do some work before I go to the gym. It's currently 2.30. So I probably have to leave in like an hour and a half. So I'm going to get probably like an hour's work done before I go. Apparently Joel was just telling me that the gyms are closing. Like, like the announcement is effective tonight at 12. So pretty much Tuesday at 12 a.m. So today is probably gonna be the last day that they're open. I really hope that they don't close for long. Sucks ass, but it can be worse. I wish I had a home gym, honestly. When I'm older in my own house, my priority is honestly gonna be to have a home gym. Like that's the first thing that I'm gonna wanna build. That would be so nice to have a gym right there so you don't need to drive and you can just go whenever. Like that would be such a luxury that I would be so blessed to have in the future. Anyways, I'm still thriving. Okay, I'm gonna go do work. Hey guys, so I just got ready for the gym. I'm gonna head out soon. I just switched to my small camera because I don't want to take like my big one to the gym So this is gonna be like perfect to vlog around in there Yeah, i'm so excited to get back at it and I really hope that that like isn't actually a rule and that they stay open So fingers crossed. Let's go I just finished up at the gym and you know what 12 3 30 is so bomb okay so if you guys didn't know 12 3 30 is 12 incline three miles per hour and then 30 minutes lauren if you're watching this thank you like you're such a queen yeah i feel so great my friend was telling me how it burned her calves but it didn't burn my calves surprisingly i thought like my calves are going to be wrecked but i think it's because i was focusing like all of my weight on my heels so it was kind of like getting that glute activation getting like the back of my legs
legs rather than my calves so i think that really helped but i honestly didn't think i would be able to finish that and i thought i was gonna cheat i thought i was gonna put the speed down put something down but i didn't and i did it for 30 minutes and i'm actually really proud of myself i didn't think that i'd be able to do it for some reason probably just because i haven't been to the gym in literally forever so i was doubting my abilities but my abilities still stand strong so i did that for half an hour and since we have to like book gym appointments they're only an hour so you can only go for an hour so after i got off the treadmill i just did some weights i really want to ease my way into it though i didn't want to go too ham so i just did like three different exercises and that was it didn't want to do too much because i already know tomorrow i'm going to be super sore because i haven't like lifted in so long like a year so i know i'm going to be sore tomorrow so i didn't want to go overboard like i didn't want to paralyze myself for tomorrow like i still want to walk tomorrow so it was a fun time i'm so excited to get back into it also i asked them if they were shutting down and thank god they said that they're not they said that they're just gonna everyone just has to be two meters apart and they're gonna be more strict on their social distancing rules and they're not gonna be doing like classes anymore so that's the only thing that's changing they're not shutting down i'm so freaking happy my friend julia signed up as well so she's gonna be joining me for the rest of the week yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be so fun i just can't wait i stopped at save on i'm just waiting for joel right now because he's finishing his mountain biking thing because i dropped him off here while i was at the gym so i'm just waiting for him but i stopped at the grocery store and i bought these oh there he is he's coming i bought these bars and they're really good it only has three egg whites six almonds cashews and dates and they're so good they're really healthy they don't have any extra bullshit in them so i picked that up just to get like a quick snack in because i heard it's good to like eat something high protein high calorie after the gym because it like fuels your bones or your muscles i also got a vitamin water because vitamin it up you know trying to get my vitamins in more just gonna head home now i just got the weirdest freaking deja vu in my life that's so weird does anyone else get really intense deja vus like it happens to me randomly and i'll just stop in a moment and i'll be like holy shit this is this is weird like this happened before like so crazy i really wonder like what the real meaning behind deja vus are i'm just very curious on how that can happen like it's crazy literally the most random moments yeah so we're just gonna head home now and shower and i also picked up some chicken for dinner that's gonna be good so yeah i'll see you guys at home all right you guys it is currently seven o'clock and it feels way earlier just because like now it's getting dark so late not so late but it's getting dark a lot later so it just like kind of throwing me off because it's still sunny outside at least i think it is yeah it is still bright outside i just got out of the shower i just took a body shower because i only wash my hair once a week i feel so good right now i feel so refreshed madison's making chicken caesar wraps for dinner so i'm so excited to eat that because i'm literally starving i just had like a protein shake when i got home i think honestly right now i'm just gonna go downstairs and read maybe even write in my journal or maybe i'll save that for tonight but i think i'm definitely gonna read right now i don't know i'm in the vibe i'm in the mood to read so yeah all right you guys so it's already like past 10 it's almost 10 30 now and i wanted to get to bed earlier but we were watching prison break and it's just such a good show we were kind of like hooked and lost track of the time and then i'm like holy shit i gotta wake up at like six something tomorrow morning closer to six because i have an appointment at at 7 a.m so gotta be up early very early tomorrow so i gotta get to bed i just gotta go brush my teeth real quick i just wrote in my journal for the first time and it feels so good to get that started i'm just kind of doing like a bullet point journal whether it be one line two lines just whatever how much i want to write yeah i'm so excited to get that started but yeah i'm gonna end off today's vlog here thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much i hope you guys have a great day evening morning morning whenever you're watching this and yeah i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i will see you guys on my next video good night you get skeptical you go detective Ooh. you have your pain so well you keep your heart protected and i don't blame you i respect it but while you're trying to read my text messages it's like you need a better angle or something it's like you always need to leverage it all but when